Hi everyone, I'm in a plot near Otterburn, Manitoba. Uh, this plot was seeded on May 17th and we did a tour here earlier this year uh, that some of you joined us at. Karis and I are in here today to do some yield estimates and see where the corn's at. Uh, we've noticed some great yield potential out of this plot. We've seen as high as 181 bushels with our 7822, which is our new variety that we're really excited about. And then our, some of our older ones, 7527 and 7861, are doing really well in here too, with uh, around the 170 um, bushel range for yield potential. On your farm, if you're looking to do some yield estimates to get a picture of where your crop's at and kind of what you can generally expect, uh, it's a very simple calculation. You get in there, you pick a couple of years um, that are ac accurate representations of the field. The more you do, the more accurate it'll be. Count the kernels around, count the kernels long, uh, and times, it, times those together with your plant stand as well, and divide the whole thing by 90. Uh, if you have any questions about doing this, feel free to give any one of us a call, or we'll come in there and, and do one with you. Um, Granular also has some great tools for getting a pretty good picture of where your crop's at. Uh, it shows the consistency and where you should be taking these, these yield estimates from. We've received a number of calls this year about extra ears and tillers coming from the root system. Uh, this is just, this is coming from the plant having a really good growing season. Uh, a lot of guys have, have more than enough fertilizer out there. Uh, the heat's been awesome and obviously we've had enough rain. So are these extra ears gonna lead to a yield bump on your grain side of things? No, but uh, there is a slight benefit there with silage and it's, it is a good thing to see because it means your plant is doing well and that the cob that's actually gonna be harvested will, will have some yield there for you. If you're wanting to avoid it in the future, upping your plant population is a good way to, uh, to utilize your land uh, to the to its capability just because on a wetter year like this um, you can you can have a couple more plants out there and bump up your yield as canola in our area is starting to hit the end of its flowering stage for the most part on the uh, on the earlier seeded stuff um, we want to get out there and check for sclerotinia black leg uh, uh, any other types of, of issues that can happen on a wetter year uh, now that that canopy is, has been closed off for a while and because uh, some, some of those fungi can, can really take off underneath there. Um, so if you have any questions about your canola, maybe you want a second opinion, uh, give us a call. We'll come out here, take a look. Um, we, we enjoy it. I'm in a field of P505 MSL. The S stands for a high sclerotinia resistance. It's a product that we're excited to offer and it is a Liberty Link. Uh, uh, canola variety. So uh, any questions about that moving forward, uh, give us a shout. We're happy to tell you all about it. Thanks.